Thanks for tuning in today for our latest video here at Hayward Tech Support. Today, we've got our most requested video yet. We're gonna show you how to properly wire and program your low voltage pool lights. So today we've got a dummy set up with power with an Omni PL, a Hayward Omni PL, a low voltage transformer, and the Hayward low voltage light. So let's get into it and we'll show you all the details. So here we are with an Omni PL. We're gonna show you inside the box and show you the wiring. So right here we have our sub panel with a GFCI protected breaker. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 120 volts from the GFCI breaker into number two of the high voltage relay. So you can see they're called out as two, four, six, and eight. So high voltage goes into two, and then power goes out when the relay is turned on from four, and it runs back down through your transformer. So if we look inside the transformer, we've got from the transformer itself, there's a blue wire and a white wire. So the blue wire is for 14 volts, and then we've got the black wire from the Omni into, that's tied into the blue wire, and then the white wire from our Omni tied into the white wire of the, of the transformer itself. Now I just wanted to take you back to the Omni, and the white wire from the Omni, I just wanted to make sure we're clear on where that goes. So if we trace it back, the white wire from the Omni gets tied into the neutral line of the GFCI breaker, and then these breakers generally have a pigtail that ties into the neutral bar of the Omni itself. So again, the white wire from the Omni ties into the back bottom side of the GFCI breaker or the neutral side and then runs to your transformer. So one thing to note and be very careful about with these low voltage transformers, the one I'm working with is a Hayward 300 watt transformer. Uh, but and so in this transformer, high voltage gets tied into the left side of the transformer and low voltage gets it goes out of the transformer at a low voltage, generally 12 to 14 volts. You do need to be careful if you're not using this exact uh, transformer. Some transformers, it's you tie in high voltage on the right side and low voltage on the left side. And if you make a mistake and wire it backwards, you're definitely gonna burn out the transformer and blow out your light. So you have to be very careful. One quick reference point is all of these transformers generally have a wiring diagram that will, that will show you you know, 100, high voltage, 120 volts on the left side, low voltage on the right side. Once again, some transformers have this in reverse. One other thing to note and be careful of with the transformers is this Hayward transformer can only be wired for 14 volts. So there's only a blue wire and a white wire coming from the transformer. Pretty much all other transformers that I've ever seen have a black and a yellow option as well. So the black is generally for 12 volts, yellow is for 13 volts, blue is for 14 volts. Uh, the Hayward is only, only 14 volts and Hayward's, Hayward recommends that all their lights are wired for 14 volts. So if you're working with Pent Pentair or Jandy Lights or any other brand, just consult your manual to ensure that you are wiring for the correct voltage be it 12, 13, or 14 volts. So the output side, the low voltage output side of this transformer has got two black wires and so you're gonna take a white and black wire and just tie one in to, one, to, to each wire. So the white to black and the black to black. And then we're gonna come back here down to our final junction box where usually you're gonna have like a three quarter or one inch conduit stubbed out of the ground, tied into a box right here. And you're gonna have your black and, and white wires um, from, that are being fed from the transformer. So you're gonna just tie your black into one of, the, one of the sides and your white into the other side of the light itself. So one more thing to just to uh, notate inside the Omni box, we're taking you know, the high voltage from the circuit breaker to one of these relays. We've got high voltage relay one, high voltage relay two, number three, and number four. So when you tie in to whatever relay that you're gonna tie into. Maybe just, it's a good practice to notate somewhere, like right with a marker inside the box that you know HVR1 is equals light, just so you can remember during programming. Now we're gonna show you how to program. So now we're gonna program in your uh, freshly installed Hayward light. So you might have to tap the screen to wake up, and then what you're gonna do, there's a little arrow right here. You're gonna tap the arrow to the right if it hasn't already been tap tapped, and you're gonna hit config. 
and then you're going to go to the config wizard to type in your MSP. It's like the password to get into the configuration screen. So if you don't know it, oftentimes the builders will write this number somewhere on the Omni. But if you can't find it, all you have to do is hit the system info button and you will get it at the very top of the screen. After you hit system info, it will say MSP ID and read out a six digit number. So now we're going to go to the config wizard. Then we're going to go create a new configuration or edit an existing. We're going to edit the existing. Scroll to the right. And then we're going to go bodies of water, pool, add standalone light. Now, what kind of light? So if, you pro if you're installing Hayward lights, then you just leave it, the low voltage Hayward lights. You use it as UCL. But there is an option if you're installing Pentair or Jandy lights. If you're installing Pentair lights, you just choose P color. If you're using Jandy or Zodiac lights, you use Z color LED. We're gonna stick with the Hayward UCL check mark. Scroll to the right. You can name these whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it as color lights. To change it, you just tap on it and type in what you wanna name it. Scroll to the right. How many relays are they wired to? Just one and then select the relay. This is where it's helpful to have notated previously which relay you wired to. Right here, HVR one, two, three, or four, we wired to one. We're gonna tap that, check mark. So then we're going to scroll to the right. Would you like to test for OmniDirect capability? I'm not gonna do that right now, um, but I will let you know that all new Hayward low voltage lights come with omni direct capability essentially what that is is it allows you to uh, dim the lights or change the speed of the color changing show to be faster or shorter um, i'm not going to do that right now but if you select yes which i would recommend it sends you through a couple of prompts it takes about five minutes and then you can set select the omni direct capability scroll to the right and then now they're programmed in so we're going to go backspace backspace and now we're at the home main menu of the config, config wizard. We're gonna hit the little floppy disk icon in the bottom right. We're gonna check mark. And then it's gonna save and restart. And then after it saves and restarts, you'll be able to use your Hayward lights. So we did go ahead and program in the um, OmniDirect behind the scenes just because it takes a couple of minutes. And I just wanted to show the example of, of the dimming, how much it can dim up to 20% brightness, and then show you a color changing show and just show what the speeds look like if you speed it up or slow it down. So we've got our light kind of set up on a water bottle. And if we go ahead and change the brightness to 20%, so you can see it's a lot less bright versus going back to 100%. And then I'm going to do a color changing show. There we go. Now you can see that's normal speed of the color changing show. If you want to go to techno mode, you go plus 16x on the speed, so 16 times if you're having a real party. And then if we want to slow it down to 1 16th of the speed, you can see it just changes real slow. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video from Hayward Tech Support. We, we really appreciate it and we really hope you learned something. Um, if you could like and subscribe, it would really, really helps our channel out. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.